Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you know what emotional detachment is? It refers to one's inability to connect with another emotionally or the avoidance of doing so. People who are emotionally detached may find themselves closed off to others or will actively avoid them or any situation that will invoke an emotional response. It may happen by choice or as a result of trauma. In general, emotional detachment is a protective measure to prevent you from getting harmed by others. To learn more about this, here are seven signs you're emotionally detached. Number one, you feel numb all the time. Is it difficult for you to identify or to feel any of your own emotions? Maybe you struggle to have an emotional response to other people and situations. Well, the biggest sign of emotional detachment is feeling detached from people and situations. You may struggle to feel anything at all or you're actively trying to avoid feeling anything. However, this numbness can end up making it difficult to enjoy activities or relationships, which can put a huge strain on the quality of your life. Number two, you avoid other people's emotions. Do you find yourself disconnected from other people? Perhaps it's hard to listen to other people talk about their emotions and respond to them. Or maybe you just don't have the energy to put up with other people's emotions and so you avoid them. Since emotional detachment makes it difficult to connect with others, you may find yourself growing distant between yourself and those close to you. As a result, your relationships may suffer and sometimes fade out. Number three, you are non-committal. Are you bad at keeping up with others? Because emotional detachment can make it difficult to form attachments, it can make it very hard to commit to situations or people. Existing relationships may end and new relationships are unlikely to form. People who are emotionally detached often also have difficulties making what should be a priority a priority. Therefore, the needs of others may fall by the wayside. Number four, you isolate yourself. Do you always keep to yourself and feel like you don't really need to go out? Self-isolating can be used as a tool to keep negative emotions from forming. This self-isolation can further strain relationships and at worst, create and worsen other mental health problems. While it is natural to wanna to take some time for yourself once in a while, it can be harmful if the habit becomes excessive and sudden. Number five, you find it hard to express yourself to others. If you are emotionally detached, it can be insanely difficult to feel strong emotions towards anything. Because of this, you may often have a hard time identifying what you are feeling let alone expressing that and sharing it with someone else. As a result, you may come across as reserved, aloof, and cold to others. Number six, you have another mental health condition. Emotional detachment is often part of another disorder. Most commonly, it's found in people with depression, PTSD, bipolar, personality disorders, and in some cases, people on the autism spectrum. It can also be caused by medication that is taken to treat any disorder as it is a defense mechanism. It has a higher prevalence among disorders involving any kind of trauma. And number seven, you avoid situations. People who are emotionally detached and especially those who are trauma survivors may avoid situations that remind them of past events. Typically in these scenarios, they will actively avoid situations where they know they'd feel a strong emotion if they were there. However, in actively avoiding certain environments, events, or situations, they may be more prone to isolate themselves. Did you relate to any of these points? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. As always, the references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.